we're back with another recipe. Around this time of the year, we usually have some leftover ham, so we make what we our version of a deviled ham salad or deviled ham spread. Around here in the Midwest, everybody calls bologna salad or bologna spread ham salad. I don't know why, but when I was younger and was in the South, I actually had deviled ham salad. It was made with ham and some other ingredients, which I don't know. And when me and the penguin got together, we got to discussing that, and her parents were the same as mine. They always made their ham salad, and, but used bologna in it. So we did a little experimenting of things we liked and different recipes that we saw, and we came up with this on our own. So what you're going to need is ham and bologna, and you can adjust whichever you like the most of. I have yellow mustard. I have shallots. That's optional. You don't have to use shallots if you want to use green onion or just regular onion, because I have regular onion over here anyway. I've got Miracle Whip, or you can use regular mayonnaise. I've got prepared whole grain mustard. That's an option if you want to use it or not. I've got pimentos. That's optional too, whether you like pimentos. I got sweet relish. I got a couple ounces of cream cheese, and I got like a third of a of a yellow onion cut up over here. And then, of course, it's deviled, so you got to have about a teaspoon of hot sauce. Now, I'm not making a whole lot of it since this is me and her. This will probably make enough for four or six sandwiches. And finally, i got our spices, and I just went ahead and mixed them all up in one bowl. I've got about a half a teaspoon of black pepper, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of paprika, and a half a teaspoon of onion powder. Okay, first we're going to put in our onion. Like I said, I'm using yellow onion. You can use any kind you want. A lot of people use white sweet onions. And we're going to put in our shallots. Like I said, this is optional. If you have them, you can. If you don't, you don't have to. You can use green onion in its place. We've did that before. And we're going to put our lid on. We're going to pulse that a couple times. Sides down a little bit. And then we're going to add in our our ham and our bologna. Like I said, you can adjust this however much you want. I got about two thirds ham to one third bologna in this. But after you make it once, you can decide if you want more ham flavor or want more bologna flavor. And all the uh, ingredients and everything will be uh, in the drop down under the video. Put the lid back on it. And scrape the sides again. Got to keep everything down in there so it keeps mixing up. Okay, once you got it to this point, you want to add all the rest of your ingredients in and then just keep pulsing it until it's smooth. So now we're going in with our whole grain mustard. Like I said, that's optional too. It's something we like adding gives it a little more flavor. And our pimentos. Our sweet relish. regular yellow mustard oh, piece Our cream cheese cream cheese makes it just a little more smooth makes it bind a little bit better it smells good already and our miracle whip I should say our generic but dressing. We always buy the generic usually because it tastes just the same. Like the chef said, you could use mayonnaise if you prefer it. Yeah, if you prefer mayonnaise. And we then, just grew up with our families using Miracle Whip for everything. And then I got our spice mix. Again, it's black pepper, it's garlic powder, onion powder, and paprika mixed together. Get that in there. And then finally, got to have hot sauce to be deviled. 
This is something you can use any kind of hot sauce you want. You just want to adjust it. Remember, you're going to have kids eating the sandwiches. You don't want to go too too hot on it. But since it is for me and her, we usually put uh, about a teaspoon, a little bit over. She would like it if I use sriracha, probably. It's, it's even hotter. And that's why they call deviled ham salad deviled ham salad, because it has a lot of varieties of spices and flavors in it. What do they call it where you're from? Is it If it's got bologna in it, is it ham salad or is it bologna salad? Like I said, we grew up around here, and I always thought ham salad was bologna salad for a long time until... I got to travel to the south of the United States. Or do they just call it sandwich spread? Yeah, or do sandwich spread. I've seen versions of it that's got eggs in it too, and I always thought if they had eggs in it, it'd be more like egg salad with stuff added to it. But it just depends on where you're from, I guess. Anyway, you go back and you're going to keep pulsing this until it's nice and smooth looking. <laughs> stir make sure everything's getting mixed up not coming up to the top and you only need the bottom blade for this you don't need the top blade and if you don't have a food processor you can do it by hand um you just want to make sure that you get everything chopped up really fine yeah we've did it with a mini chopper before one ingredient at a time and it went back and added it all together stirred it up yeah you can you can use a mini chopper if you if that's all you have on hand Smells really good, and it's a good use for leftover ham. Mm -hmm. We call it poor man's deviled ham salad because we like it with bologna in it. Yeah. So, yeah, there's people like I said around here just make bologna. You could use everything we're using, just bologna and no ham, and it still tastes real good. Yep. <laughs> Nice spreadable consistency. Poor man's deviled ham salad. We'll, we'll make up a sandwich and we'll be right back. And there you have it. Our poor man's deviled ham salad. Of course, like any other thing, you want to put this in the refrigerator in a sealed container. Let it set overnight's the best bet. That way the ham will, if the ham's going to get any wetter, it will. And you can tell that way. Plus it lets all those different flavors we put in there marry. It tastes good now, but it'll taste even better tomorrow. And we... Plated you up one to see what it would look like as a sandwich. That's the way we usually eat it. We put a little Miracle Whip or mayonnaise on our bread, put the spread on it, and then we have it with chips and pickles. That's the way we like them. And it's so good. It's very good. Easy to make, cheap, uh, and it'll last. It'll last for over a week in the refrigerator in a sealed container like that. That way you can enjoy it for the whole week. It's good on crackers too. I've ate a lot of it. Have on. a bite. Yeah, go ahead. Penguins got to have a bite. I've Sorry, guys. On crackers. Mm-hmm. It's very, very good. Very, very good. And you know the best part about this is, if you don't like it, sorry, I'm not supposed to talk with my mouth full, but I can't help it. If you don't like bologna and you don't like ham, use chicken. Yeah, you can use chicken. You could cook you up some chicken or use the white breast meat chicken in a can, drain off all the liquid, and do the same thing. And then you'll have some really great chicken salad. But we love it this way. We love it with ham and bologna. It's really good. It's got we, just the right texture of meat when the two are mixed like that. We always have it this time of year, especially around the holidays because of the leftover ham. And it's good in the summertime, too, when it's really hot. We've had it in the summertime when you're just wanting something cold to eat for dinner because it's just too darn hot. And, yep, yeah, penguins got to eat a pickle and a chip. And this is right up our low-carb alley because there's hardly any carbs in this, and this is... Uh, this is the uh, low-carb bread we use from um, Aunt Millie's. Yeah. And these are my low-carb Myers chips. Didn't intend it to be a low-carb. I mean, we've been eating this before we were ever doing carb diets. But this is a really low-carb. For this whole plate right here, you're seeing you're only probably talking about three carbs for the whole plate right there. So. Yep, three carbs is not many carbs. I couldn't eat just half a sandwich, so I got to make me a whole sandwich. So Yeah, it's really good, guys. Hope you give it a try. The chef did really good on this yeah. one. Poor man's deviled ham salad. Yep. Poor our man's, version. Poor man's deviled ham salad. All right, guys, we will see you later in our next video. So long.